Ah, welcome back my gardening friends. Well, this is an update on the uh, jobs for September, how we've got on, what we've been up to, and we're going to be looking at how I save some of my seeds, uh, especially the beans, uh, this time of the year. Well, the trommel's been pushed out of the way. Uh, we've uh, tidied all this up. It was getting a little bit mushy with the old uh, wood chips. We've sieved all the 2018 leaf mould and we've moved almost, almost, almost all the old leaves. Uh, we've had a bit of rain on that so it's washed some of the stuff off but I did find as we got to the bottom of this double pallet bin uh, the leaves were not It's broken down but I do like to give mine uh, my leaves uh, two years we did line this so that will help the leaves slide down and uh, stay moist and as soon as I start collecting this year's autumn leaves I will line this as well and uh, I use those just to hold any cardboard down etc um, I'm hoping to get this comfrey tub uh, emptied out uh, onto uh, the allotments there's all the reject uh, leaves and leaf mold from the uh, trommel I've got to figure out what I'm doing to that and I've had a look in my compost bin and there isn't much in there I think because I've had such a successful year with the raised beds square foot garden and vertical garden I haven't created as much waste as normal it's the remains of uh, my one of my large uh, beetroots but i separate the uh, eggshells and uh, some of the banana skins now let's move on to the uh, greenhouse we've cut the pomegranate bush down you can just see it in the middle of the screen i'm not doing nothing with it because it will disturb all the uh, guttering in here and this is the gravity fed wick guttering system so all these pots here have got wicks in them into the guttering and there's a little float in there that keeps it uh, at the right height now, I've had my celery in several places uh, this year uh, that hasn't done very good either but lots of things uh, have some of these are a little bit warm eaten uh, raw but uh, let's see how uh, I've got any more peppers from uh, the red ruffle from Marie I can't see any but it's just a little bit crowded in here oh here we go there's one uh, just forming there but no this has been really successful and I'm going to replicate this um, in uh, the polytunnel once we've got it revamped you can see that um, shortly these are the uh, one ton bags that I collect my leaves in and uh, that bay there had 20 of these bags those 20 bags are in there now it, it, literally 20 of these bags and you end up with one bag and I'll show you the leaf mold that we've got in the bin maybe a little bit more but if you go to 1 to 20 you're not going to be far wrong really pleased with the apples uh, the insects have uh, stayed away we've had a few go rotten but um, they are a nice apple and I've had to force some of the apples off because I am eating them and we are still finding the odd strawberry uh, and I've started cutting all this back redoing the paths obviously I'm a busy boy anyway but yeah we do keep finding the occasional um, strawberry now a lot of people have uh, had uh, blossoms on their apple trees but I haven't but I have pruned these back because we have to keep them to a, a certain height I'll just eat this strawberry before Mrs K sees me very nice 
very nice at this time of the year and uh, still lots and lots of flowers and weeds I'm uh, liking these purple I presume they're uh, out of the seed packet originally so a lot of these uh, sunflowers are still going strong but the flowers are still growing looking a bit bedraggled but as you can see that honeybee was still trying to uh, find uh, some nice things and uh, it won't be long before I cut these down so uh, all the creatures including the mice get their fill this is what happens when uh, you put them on the floor the birds have a field day that's not mice because the mice would take them away and hide them uh, my manure runoff bin somebody mentioned about manure runoff all the manure goes in there re relative relatively fresh um, all the juices concentrate juices come out and go into this uh, container which I still haven't uh, emptied and now it's got um, a roof on collecting water the water doesn't go in there and thin the manure out uh, a few autumn uh, the autumn gold uh, raspberries uh, rhubarb slowly dying back now I don't cut it down I don't do nothing I know you saw me pinch half a dozen for the giant show but these just settle down all the goodness goes back from out the leaves where it's collecting the sunshine and everything else back down into the crowns um, that's why I get such good rhubarb sticks because we look after them and they'll get some manure and I've been recommended to use some wood chips on them as well so hopefully I'm going to do that on this here where I normally get my large sticks from so that uh, I've got some good ones for Malvern next year if the show goes ahead with this pandemic. Never got a chance to split um, the, those long pallets but I did manage to uh, get some pegs in to support this so that it didn't do any more damage here. The autumn fruit in raspberries uh, are still still giving i've been round and had uh, half a punnet today excuse me and even the blackberries have got a new lease of life uh, i've took uh, half a dozen of those today i've cleared all these out now these raspberries were never never really did brilliantly they did good but not brilliantly so these are out now and this is where i'm going to be growing uh, my uh, giant cabbages uh, next year and we'll talk more about the rhubarb leaf tea insecticide juice we got from that uh, next year it's still experimental and i don't want to say anything until i know it works i've managed to get all this tidied up i've managed to get these bricks in these were those recycled bricks that we got with those curbs that we're going to use for the uh, polytunnel to keep the wood off the ground uh, we've managed to get some half decent wood chips i've piled them up there because i can't get between some of the rows it won't be long before we need to prune these and some of the black uh, the blueberries there they're not ripening they're not doing a lot of good at all and i've just noticed that the summer fruit in raspberries uh, need tying in again uh, these are the jobs that you, you need to keep on top of as everything comes to an end uh, we need to keep tidy and that'll be the jobs for uh, October I'll be putting a video up um, in the next few uh, days in a week or so but the square foot gardening has done it remarkably well we're still suffering there with uh, the uh, beet leaf miner you may be able to see the egg there and then the maggot hatches out and he crawls around so when you eat this 
No, of course not, guys. I wouldn't be that cruel. Uh, I'm going to have to take um, these to the municipal bin, like I did my giant uh, beetroots. This uh, lettuce is uh, gorgeous. It was sent to me by Alan from the Dawn Chorus plot. He's not about at the moment, but uh, this has been quite nice. And as usual, as soon as it starts bolting, it just gets a little bit bitter. There must be some more radish under here that I've missed, but the second sowing of um, bull's blood beetroot uh, are doing quite well. Still taking a few leaves off. I removed all the tomatoes off that. I've still got that one to do. And we're still finding, even though the, everything's dead, they're holding quite well. Um, on the uh, on the branches itself, so excuse me. Of course, not as nice as they would be during that peak of summer. Again, more celery. We did it in uh, the uh, vertical garden, and we used this uh, tub. Bot bottom took off. So it's one of these tubs with the bottom out. Um, I'm going to still take that though, but I was hoping for bigger stalks this year, but we'll, uh, we get what we get and that will still make uh, uh, quite a few uh, meals and realistically ideal size for my lunchbox. Need to get that one pulled out. But uh, I have been very busy. Uh, potatoes are all covered up. This is my permanent potato bed. Uh, I just dig down with my hands several varieties here. These are the um, giant beets that we took uh, to Malvern. Some of the sticks of rhubarb. And uh, there's all the uh, long roots. And by now, I should, uh, by the time you see this, I should know what uh, or where I came in the uh, long uh, beat. Uh, there's the leaf mould in there. This is the stuff that goes halfway through the trommel. So basically, it's a, it's a good metre cube. So I would say there's over, over a, a bag there. That's the spent compost. My homemade compost, of course. The odd stone in it. Put that in the bucket. And these are some of the compost that we uh, find on the side of the road that the compost growers unscrupulously um, dump. Uh, new additions to the shed. We've got this uh, nice set of drawers. Uh, I would imagine expensive uh, in its day. Uh, the onions are doing well. Uh, pick this up as well. So now the uh, mice uh, and uh, other critters can't get at my uh, punnets. Uh, and there's a few uh, radish seed from the uh, icicles. So as they've dried out, I've uh, taken them. I won't be taking uh, those seeds, I'll be <laughs> taking those off quite carefully and popping them uh, in the bin. Uh, a few things that uh, were in a, a gift pack from Canna at the, uh, the show, and there's those trays. Those trays work brilliantly, and all I've got to do now is get uh, use some of the capillary matting to lay the roots on. I never even give it a thought about using the capillary matting. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that worked well, really well to get the long roots there in one piece. Here's that pond liner that I ha I've had now for nearly 12 months. And that's going to be used where the long roots used to be. So before I go any further, stone in the stone bucket. This is the wildlife pond. This is under the long roots. You don't normally get to see it. I've lined this now with uh, this uh, fabric that I got when I was first on this allotment. It was actually in the polytunnel on the floor before I put those 
uh, beds in so that'll be nice and soft so it doesn't damage that pond liner this will all be lined uh, and with a cover on it and then if the roots come out of there um, that'll be uh, a good job so that's another job uh, for next month and just looking round into the uh, polytunnel uh, looks like I need to take that today before it spoils the plot is still giving uh, we have had two frosts now recently so some of these uh, tomatoes etc will uh, be starting to oh god that's a decent one for uh, so uh, the variety I keep forgetting the varieties but it's uh, Autumn King uh, 2 so there you look it's just started to fork at the bottom but uh, that's a nice carrot the high winds that we had uh, blown the end of that off onto my uh, parsnips this is where the polytunnel cover ended up uh, this is my little experiment with the parsnips I already sowed some parsnips this year and uh, this one has been rejuvenated these are all videos from September so if you want to see what I've been up to in September look at the playlist for September which we'll put up uh, shortly uh, all the water drums or well, most of the water drums are full uh, let's say we've got lots of kale, purple sprouting broccoli, uh, cabbages and uh, the sprouts there, uh, a dwarf variety of kale, <laughs> it's reaching for the sky again and uh, very, sorry, very little, very little uh, white fly. Just noticed uh, a lot of uh, rust on these beets so we'll get those gone just go under the cover and uh, the sprouts are looking nice I just hope I can save enough for Christmas so saving the seeds from the beans these are Tony Guru and um, Finder uh, these are the uh, uh, what's your blue lake I'll show you short but once they go like that uh, it's uh, time to get them you can see the seeds bulging out there and uh, you want to be able to take them when they're like this the seeds have uh, dried out nicely oh it's on the floor one for the mice but hopefully I've got all the varieties right uh, I thought I had but Some of them must have uh, been cross-pollinated or whatever. The cheeky prints, don't know what to do with those. They need harvesting soon. And this will be the asparagus bed. I don't normally store my water like this. I normally got four barrels here, but because of all the changes, I've made sure all the barrels have moved from inside the polytunnel. Still got one there, but I, I, I have them stacked at the, the end here for, um, for what was going to be a drip system. So they're all full of water and we hopefully shan't run short. But this is, looks so strange having this open here and uh, this open here as well. I've uh, covered the bricks up that I'm going to be um, making uh, a, a, or building a, a rocket stove. I'll just keep those bricks dry while it's uh, like this. Uh, these are the um, brood balls. Um, you can do lots of things with these. I've got to read up on it, but uh, Jason from Jason's Jungle. So that's what it is. I struggle pronouncing words. I struggle spelling and everything. But I'll do my best. We're not good at everything. So these are the purple ones from Tony and you can see that they've got a little hint of uh, purple on them. Uh, even though they're purple, when you cook them they go uh, green. Um, this is the Blue Lake. Again, you can see the beans, totally different colour. Liberty Long Bean, they all look uh, roughly the same. Uh, so the Starlet. 
Uh, got plenty there. It got to a point where I just couldn't have time to catch the beans before they went over. And then firestorm now. I'm pretty sure the firestorm beans are black. So you only want one or two stray beans. So I will check my seed stock. I always, I never sow every seed. So if, if the, the black beans are this firestorm, then those are the ones that I'll be saving. But you can save yourself quite a lot of money by seed saving. Um, William Coleman's uh, a garden and allotment, there is Red Russian. Uh, I've planted a few in there. There's quite a few small ones. And I've also planted my elephant garlic that I originally had from Mike Herdis uh, in here. And uh, I've got to decide what I need to do uh, with the rest. And there's the other celery. So the celery will be growing here and I've just been adding pallet collars. And as you can see there, it's right up there. And that netting was an idea from uh, Muddy Boots, uh, just as uh, shade, because that idea was from William Coleman using the pallet collar as a coal frame. And that is uh, mainly a uh, little shade. So I don't want to take those off because once I take them off, I'm not going to get them back on, but we'll have a look and see how uh, they're doing. And uh, I mustn't uh, forget to take that carrot home with me. Uh, a fellow plot holder, I've helped him out with a few things and this is what you get in return. Some of his strawberries, at least I know what these strawberries are. And I'm going to be having strawberries down uh, all around here in the polytunnel. They'll come early. Uh, you've got to keep them well watered though. And uh, hopefully they'll do okay. And then we'll probably have peppers down here. And we'll have more room here when the polytunnel's raised up a metre with wood. So the bottom there will be going right up to here and I should be able to walk down without bumping my head. And uh, a few more improvements with the this month uh, are this and of course uh, this. I've got some roller blind uh, just to pull down so that uh, the rain doesn't go in and that works really well. And another thing I've done or started to do is the bubble wrap inside th there because if the uh, moisture hits that and it's got a cold roof it will condensate and then start dripping down so this does stop that because you've got everything in here you don't want uh, uh, everything being dripped on after a frost etc Uh, thanks very much uh, for watching and your continued support my friends uh, if you're new to my channel and you enjoyed watching this content then please consider subscribing hit the like or dislike button for the interaction and please leave a comment i uh, reply to all comments that's the way we learn and don't forget when you start watching the videos if you get bored read the comments instead and just listen to um, the creator talk happy gardening to you all till next time my friends ta for now